Welcome to Strictly Business, and today we're taking a look at how small businesses can benefit from the potential for increased traffic. A new study conducted by Detroit Future City finds 77% of small businesses need the right resources and support to help launch and grow their business. And for more tips, we're joined by President and CEO of Build Institute, Regina Ann Campbell and Mark S. Lee. Thank you both for coming in this morning. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thanks. So, Regina, let's start with you. Tell us about Build and how it helps support small businesses. So, Build Institute is a nonprofit, and we support businesses by helping them start and also grow with a set of services from capital. We have a capital ladder. We also have subject matter experts because everybody needs some help, whether it be an accountant or a lawyer. And then also we have a standard education, national standard curriculum that helps educate them about their business. And finally, a space, a space where they can call home and come in and do business. The integral stuff that businesses need. Yeah, and Mark, we've talked a lot about entrepreneurs lately. What are some of the biggest challenges entrepreneurs face? Always number one is access to capital. And the reason for that is a lot of entrepreneurs just don't have the resources in the bank. And so and it, it requires quite a bit of resources to set up your business as well. So from a business perspective, if I'm an entrepreneur, I want to start a business, access to capital is always number one, the number one challenge. Number two is marketing your business, attracting new customers. What do I do? What are my strategies to get customers to the door? And number three is if I have customers, how do I service them? What are my operational uh, expertise, what's my operational expertise going to be? So those are probably the top three challenges that we see, but number one is always access to capital. All right, Regina, obviously a capital very important. What would you say is the most important stage for a business when they're trying to grow? What growth stage is the most important? So for us, it's that 77% of businesses that we talked about. They call them micro-entrepreneurs. So many of them have less than 10 employees, many are solopreneurs. And so at that critical stage, when they're past proof of concept, uh, having a team around them to be able to help them think about their strategy, attract more customers is going to be really key, and whether or not they need to get some capital. So working with them at a stage that are micro are really key. And I say that because most businesses start very small. Mm -hmm before they get to growth. And that's the critical period that we call businesses when they can either fail or they can be successful. And so that center micro entrepreneur is very key with success. You know, most entrepreneurs obviously afraid of the risks, yeah. right? And you hear that a lot. What are some of the ways that you can mitigate some of those risks when you're starting it? You have to make sure that you have a, a multi-plan approach is what I like to say, okay? You have a realistic plan, but also have a backup plan. And as we know, Detroit is hot right now. There's a lot of investment that's coming into the city. A lot of small businesses are very comfortable staying inside the box. I challenge small businesses to think outside the box, right? What, what can you do differently? How do you use technology? Uh, how, how do you talk to uh, the financial institutions for additional resources? So don't just think inside the box. Think outside the box. Have a network of advisors that you can rely on that will help you. Because I'm not an expert in everything, as much as you might think I am. Mm -hmm. I'm not. <laughs> but we have a network of advisors that I can rely upon as well to help me think outside that box as well. I've been misled. I thought you were yeah. an expert in everything, Mark. <laughs> this is enlightening this morning on Strictly <laughs> Business. Uh, Regina, tell us about this event you have coming up. It's a fundraiser event. Yes, so we have a signature event we're very excited about. We're partnering with the Aretha Franklin Amphitheater on uh, August 14th, Wednesday, with Sheila Eid and comparable Sheila Eid. Nice. So I'm um, excited to bring out and be in a community where business owners are, where community is, and celebrate, have fun. Uh, with our donors and community. So, you're bringing so. out the big stars. Good All times. right. Thank you so much, Regina, Mark. We appreciate having you both here Thank this you. morning. 